Hello traders, this is Dan and in this week's video review of open and closed ETF positions in our Master Trader ETF investor letter for the week ending October 5th, I decided to put together this lesson for you because it just happened two days on last Thursday with the markets acting squirmish and breaking down and volatility rising. That was the perfect time to leg into covered calls on our open bullish positions in our newsletter. So let's explain to you uh, the background of this strategy more and, and the math behind it and how we intend on using it as, as an adjustment strategy to generate additional uh, wealth. What is a covered call? When you just buy an ETF alone, then the unrealized gain or loss is going to depend on every penny move up or down against you. A covered call is you buy the ETF and then you short a call option on that ETF and it's one contract for every 100 shares of the ETF and that's if you put it on at once. When we enter positions in this investor ETF letter, as you know, they are directional trades to us where multiple time frames are in alignment and we're looking for a bigger gain. So we don't want to cap our gains right out of the gate because the chart suggests a big move. So we're going to show you how we leg into them. But back to the covered call. So in exchange for cash, we we're selling the call option. The call buyer is paying us for that right. And we put the money in our pocket and our legal obligation is, is to, to deliver, to sell the ETF to the call buyer at the agreed upon price. That's called the strike price. On or before an agreed upon date. That's called expiration. And that's if the buyer wants to buy your ETF. When would the buyer want to buy your ETF? Well, when it's worth a whole lot more than the price that you agreed to sell it at. So it, it must go up in order for it to be valuable to the call buyer. The money's 100% profit to you and tax wise, it just lowers your cost basis of the ETF. So you actually you know make the gain when you sell it. It's a higher probability of profit versus buying the ETF alone. Why? Because you're putting money in your pocket. You're lowering the cost of that asset. The, the premium that the, uh, we're receiving, I refer to that as it's our cushion to be wrong on the direction. So that the ETF can consolidate, go against you, and that money we put in our pocket is uh, it, it's ours. The stock can go against us and we still make money. The only downside is in selling calls is that you're agreeing to sell your ETF at an agreed upon price. But as I'm going to show you, we use the charts to determine when we want to do that. And the old saying on Wall Street, though, is pigs get slaughtered. So we're doing this as a as a prudent risk management when we think the stocks are stalling uh, to sit through the consolidation or pullback. These are the typical patterns we're, we're looking for and they weren't perfect on these examples but I'm going to show you that we did it just because of the broader market nervousness and weakness. But we're looking for some type of slowing momentum. You see the double top, topping tails, two bar reversal, uh, resistance being built overhead and then we're going to sell the calls at or over resistance and put the money in our pocket to lower the cost basis. This is this is actually Friday's close but it was on last Thursday. Here we have I have the spiders, the Q's and the IWM. So last Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday everything was fine. The spiders broke out, and yeah, it's a red bar. 
but it's still just consolidated. And there was a ton of pending news on everyone's mind with the Kavanaugh hearings, FBI investigation, uh, the trade wars, China, uh, it, all kinds of things to worry about. And uh, then the new thing on everyone's mind was interest rates, long-term yields, busted out to the upside and to seven-year highs. So now the media is like, oh, now we're just going to slow down the economy, make it more expensive to borrow money. And and just from a, a, a macro intermarket analysis standpoint, higher interest rates helps banks. So the XLF did well. Uh, it hurt the overall market, but also in, interest rate sensitive sectors like how, like housing and construction, the ITB ETF, and also the, um, you know, it hurts autos, it hurts, um, yeah, the, the housing, autos, uh, the, the sector's bad. Yeah. So the Qs here, also three bars after breaking out at a prior high, but it wasn't until the gap down in weakness on Thursday the IWM here has been lagging for weeks and we're not we're not we don't have a position in either one of these but we were using this as our indication of market risk rising the patterns became more bearish to us volatility was rising interest rates are rising so this was the time to leg into our covered calls so I grabbed screenshots of all of these and I sent out a, a, both a text alert to our subscribers and I uh, sent it in an email also. Now bear in mind that the underlying reasons for being in the trade still have to warrant being in the trade. And these are all longer term trades to us. I'm showing you the daily charts here, but the weekly and monthly charts are still fine. And, and that's why we're doing this strategy. We don't want to sell our position and get out of it, but selling these calls allows us to lower our cost basis and sit through the retracement with, with very little, if any, pain. Let's go over the map. First one, diamonds has been showing the greatest relative strength of these four index ETFs. Look, rising 20, 50, 200. Higher highs, higher lows. That's a beautiful trend. And the same day, though, after, so it, it made a new all-time high on Wednesday. And if I was just looking at this chart alone, I wouldn't have legged into a, a covered call. But again, it's the prior slide is what made me do it and the map. Let's look at the map. We sold the out of the money $272 call options. We put a dollar ninety a share in our pocket. So if you happen to own a thousand shares of this ETF, nineteen hundred dollars went into your brokerage account. It's yours to keep. It's giving the call buyer the right to buy your diamonds from you on or before expiration, which is forty three days from the date of entry from last Thursday. And it's $5 out of the money. The stock was trading at 267 and we're giving them the right to buy our merchandise at 272. And I still put a buck 90 a share in my pocket. I did the math for you. Annualized, that's 6% additional return on your investment. It, 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 and it's $5 higher, even if we are forced to, to sell it. And I'm not going to get into it in this video, but we don't have to force sell it to them. If the pattern gets turns more bullish, we have the right to close this short call and we're back to full directional bullish long diamonds. And that's exactly what we will be monitoring. We will decide were that the ones you're relying on to come up with these compelling patterns in our trade management tactics and that's exactly what we're doing here so we we monitor these positions throughout the day every day even if you don't hear from us that means no news is good news that that that, that your your inventory is performing 
finally, ITA, this is the aerospace and defense sector, relative strength, it's been acting bullish. It's uptrend, again, 20, um, 50, 200, just like the diamonds. I would not have sold a call here, but for the broader markets. It's a core trade, the weekly and monthly look great. We sold the out of the money, 220 calls, way up here, $2.80 a share. That's an additional 1.3% return on your investment for 43 days, folks. This was the perfect maneuver of, of legging into these. And these are all open trades of ours. You should be proud. XLI. It's in a sideways trading range. But it had this little you know, breakout doji here on Wednesday and then came in. It, it's, again, I, I wouldn't, this isn't a perfect pattern like the, the chart pictures I showed you above, the stick figures of it, those being more bearish. We sold the way out of the money, the 81s, way up here, 84 cents a share, and, and we sold the um, December, I'm sorry, November expiration on, on all of these. We, on, for this investor letter, our sweet spot on these covered calls is 30 to 45 days. 1.1% additional ROI for that period. Finally, USO, this is our crude oil ETF. We bought the breakout of this wide trading range on the daily and weekly chart. The monthly looks fantastic. Wednesday, it was showing relative strength to the markets. It broke out, closed green and golfing bar. But again, the next day, gap down a little bit, selling off. We sold the $16.5 calls way up here, 37 cents a share. And you might say, well, that doesn't sound like a lot of money. Well. I did the math for you. 2.3% additional ROI. And if we're forced to sell it at 16.5, we'll do one of two things. We'll sell it at 16.5. We bought this stock at 15 just a few weeks ago. So making $1.50 a share plus 37 divided by a $15 cost basis is a phenomenal return. Or, as I said, we can buy that call back if, if, we, if this consolidates and turns more bullish. So those were all beautiful examples. This was one we actually got stopped out of XPH, but at a huge um, profit. We stopped out of a half a position under this breakout failure for 11% return in 10 weeks. And then we trail stopped out of the back half for, you know, another huge um, um, profit. But instead of stopping at a half, this could have been another tactic. You could sell the $50 call options for the same rationale that we just talked about. We had a beautiful entry on this one here and we added here. So it's just, you know, trailing stops. So it's, it's wonderful when trades work out that easy. Now, this is a phenomenal um, course I put together on selling credit spreads. And even though it doesn't directly talk about selling covered calls, which is what I just covered with you, it still gives you a phenomenal um, understanding of options, why we sell them, why we sell spreads around the patterns. So you could use that same knowledge in selling covered calls. But remember, we're, we're selling covered calls on, on ETFs we already own. This course is also meant to profit just for individual trades of calling a short-term top or bottom. We're gonna use these same patterns that I showed above. We put money in our pocket by selling credit spreads and we just say, well, I don't think that stock's going down. I don't think that one's going up. They're so easy to trade. It's a way to generate high probability monthly income. The stock can go against you and you still make money. Show you how to manage these, of course, once we're in them. 12 comprehensive modules. I have specialty topics on trading volatility, earnings, gaps, news, um, ETFs, which you all are doing with us now. 
trading on expiration day, etc. Phenomenal course. Go to mastertrader.com forward slash spread trader. Don't forget to, sub to subscribe to our Master Trader channel on YouTube if you want to continue to receive valuable information on investing and trading in the stock markets. Good trading all. Actually, before I move on, let me mention two other. Here's um, MJ, the Alternative Harvest ETF. We gave it as a long over this bar, and then when it gapped up and was selling off, I sent out an alert saying, let's hold off, we will monitor it. Now, if it gets over this green bar's high, last Wednesday's high, then it still looks good to go. And LIT, L-I-T, the lithium and battery. Last week, we gave this as, um, as a limit entry between 32 and 32.5 based upon these retracement principles to uh, support in this area, gap fill. It, held, it, it worked beautifully. Now the weekly has a 50% retracement. If it can set up a higher low, then we have a perfect, perfect entry. Uh, we only did a third of a lot, so we will be monitoring that to advise when we can uh, uh, increase our position size. As always, feel free to email me, dan at mastertrader.com, greg at mastertrader.com. Good trading, everyone, and see you all next week.